Children, young people and adults with neurodevelopmental disorders are more likely to experience mental ill health. That has inspired efforts among clinicians to raise awareness and understanding about autism, intellectual disabilities and other neurodevelopmental disorders. As part of these efforts, the British Journal of Psychiatry has collected seven papers and three editorials that explore the origins, effects and management of neurodevelopmental disabilities. The findings could be useful to generalists as well as specialists already working with people with such disabilities. The editorials discuss the importance of collaboration between practitioners, patients and family members in providing and shaping care for people with neurodevelopmental disabilities. For ADHD in particular, authors argue for early diagnosis and intervention to combat increased risks, such as abuse, self-harm and suicide. The remaining papers, many of them based on large longitudinal studies, examine genetic and developmental factors shared by different populations living with a neurodevelopmental disorder. These studies suggest a possible genetic link between ADHD and neurodevelopmental disorders and an increased likelihood that mothers with fragile X premutation display autistic traits, echoing findings reported for mothers of children with autism. Other studies look at developmental and treatment characteristics among people with neurodevelopment disorders and reveal possible patterns. They trace anxiety in certain children with autism to insistence on sameness, report higher prescription of antipsychotics and antidepressants among children with intellectual disabilities, propose the association of ADHD with a neurodevelopmental pathway, find poorer outcomes in adults with intellectual disabilities relative to the general populations, and report physical conditions common among people with autism, including sleep problems, epilepsy, dental caries and obesity. Together, these findings could help researchers and clinicians working across various areas of health and social care to better understand neurodevelopmental disorders and the people they affect, and in doing so, they could help this population receive the appropriate attention and care.